Hello guys, this is Sandy here again and today we are going to check how to create uh, a color correction process for these images. So the first thing that I would like to use is color balance. Color balance is a very useful tool inside Photoshop and allows you to modify temperature, especially temperature inside your rendering. So for example here, I would like to create a more warm temperature, so probably going to choose uh, add a little bit more of yellow and red color here in the mid-tones, like this. Um, on the shadows, I would like to add a little bit of uh, magenta and, of course, a little bit of blue. And highlights, very really, I'm going to repeat and I'm going to add a little bit of yellow. There you go. So, after applying color balance, as you can see, I'm changing a lot of the temperature inside the rendering, okay? So, the next step that uh, I would like to do is use levels, okay? So, levels is a very useful tool as well, and if you press Alt on the keyboard and you start to slide here like this, you can easily, if you slide a lot, move to the right a lot, you can see here the underexposed uh, spots inside the image. So if you do, if you choose here the right part, you can see the overexposed parts. So that means that you have to uh, be a little bit careful about this and try to just try to move just a little bit and avoid to lose too much information. So basically, here is going to be okay. There you go. Great. So the next step that I would like to do right now is trying to use hue saturation. Hue saturation is a very very interesting tool. You can use it in a several ways. So I would like to show you uh, my um, way to use this tool, color correction, uh, part of the process. So the first thing that I would like to use is and change the mode to colorize and change the blending mode to soft light. After uh, this, I'm going to uh, try to rescue a little bit of exposure and will compensate using lightness, as you can see. Okay, so now I can choose any color that I want, and of course, I can um, choose as well the right amount of saturation, so as you can see. So the idea is just trying to generate a more uh, interesting spot, especially here in the left side of my image, like this, as you can see. But of course, as you can see, this hue saturation is affecting all uh, the image. So for that reason, I'm going to use a gradient, the gradient tool, and I'm going to change to radial. Uh, radial gradient and I'm going to try to do like this and as you can see now it's only affect just the last part because my idea is just try to put a little bit more of emphasis on the sun okay so I can duplicate this uh, hue saturation and I can invert the mask pressing control line now I can choose a different color so for example very contrast color, yeah, it could be like, like this, okay, so once again, I can control the amount of lightness, and I can control the amount of saturation, it's probably around this, it's going to be okay, great, so as you can see, this can give you uh, another um, point of view um, to create a uh, color correction process for your image, okay? And basically, this is what sometimes this is the tools that I like to use in order to color correct an image. Of course, after create all these adjustment layers, I can create one group and I will call it CC from color correction. So this is before and this is after. Okay, thank you very much and I see you on the next video.